So I was surfing on eBay looking for size 6 pocket watch movements to use in my wristwatch conversions and I came across this one and I thought it was something really special so I jumped on it. It turns out that Walton did something very disgraceful when they made this movement. I found this to be both shocking and funny at the same time so I decided I would upload this as a YouTube video for fellow watchmakers and watch collectors to enjoy. I'm gonna take a couple of minutes to walk you through the process which led me to this surprise but if you just need a quick fix for your ADHD and want to know what happened, go ahead and jump to the last minute of the video. Being that pocket watches really aren't useful these days, many have had their movements pulled from their cases so the cases can be melted for their precious metals. These movements end up on eBay and I picked them up to repurpose them as watches like the one you see on the screen now. I find the size 6 movements to be the perfect size to fit in a 40 millimeter watch case which I feel is the perfect modern sized men's watch. So I'm always on the lookout for nice, rare, and higher end movements for my watches. What caught my attention about this movement is the jewel on the center wheel right here. 95% plus of Waltham size 6 movements were 15 jewels or less. The presence of this jewel makes this a very rare movement. Additionally, this movement has gold-plated screws. Very few of the size 6 movements have this. Curiously, this is advertised as a 7-jewel movement, but that is obviously not true from this picture. So I'm going to jump over to the Pocket Watch database and look up the information on this movement. Obviously, this is where the vendor of the movement got his information about it being a 7-jewel movement. This movement was made in a mixed run of both 7 and 15 jewel movements. This movement has neither 7 nor 15 jewels, however. I have found this is not very uncommon. Waltham would cherry pick from their lots to add more jewels and decorations to limited runs. And these were rarely documented in the database. So I've purchased the movement and it's come in. So let's see what we've got. It looks pretty much like it did on eBay. It's jeweled to the center with all the gold screws. It's got a broken screw here, the wrong screw here, and this one could use some replating, but I expected all that. The dial looks like it did in the pictures. Let's get it off and see that top plate. By the way, I'm not wearing finger cots right now because this movement will be in the ultrasonic cleaner in about five minutes and my fingerprints are the least of this movement's problems. And the big reveal. What the? There are no jewels on any of the pivots on the dial side of the movement. At some point, somebody must have swapped a main plate for a 7 jewel main plate. The serial number on the main plate ends in 7771. And so does the serial number on the train wheel bridge. Waltham made it this way. They knew that the end user would never see what's hidden under the dial. I own at least 500 of these movements and have seen thousands more. But I've never seen this. While this is very shady on Waltham's part, it is without a doubt a highly rare movement. I'm going to go ahead and service this up and case it. Like and subscribe if you like this content and want to see the follow-up.